What's up guys? Welcome to Makeup on Point. Next up in our evolution series is Carnage Balor slash Prince Devitt. So let's um let's just get into it. Let's uh settle into our seats first here, black out our eyebrows, and get started because we're gonna be here a while. So using a big jumbo pencil in milk, we're just gonna map out where all our carnage teeth are gonna be. I'm using a reference photo from the Tokyo Dome show. He did this in in 2013. This is probably one of the first times he did these makeups, so this is where we're referencing from. And continuing on with that pencil, we're just going to map out where our eyes are going to be and pretty much map out the general shape since we'll be adding in black and red later to really, to really detail it up. And even the middle star pattern he kind of has going on in the center of the forehead. We're also going to map out all the shapes where all his red muscles are in this body paint which I don't have, but we're just going to pretend for this makeup that I have some muscles somewhere in there. Somewhere. Next, using a white water-activated face paint, we're going to enhance each shape of each tooth. We're going to make most of them very pointed, as he has in the body paint he had for the show. So most of them are going to go down into a point teardrop shape, and some on the sides are going to curve inwards towards the center of the face and we're also going to fill in each tooth with as much of the white as possible and then we're going to further shade it and define it later don't have to make it too perfect for each tooth and you could always clean it up with a q-tip just to wipe off any mistakes you may have made and either way we're going to clean it up with a black water activated face paint later on and taking that white face paint again we're just going to fill in the eye shapes as well Now that we look as beautiful as we ever can be and couldn't figure out what to do next, we're going to set that eye area with a white eyeshadow just so nothing creases or moves out of place or just to keep it as white as possible. Now taking a black eyeshadow and a small, small angle brush, we're just going to define the shape of the eyes just to pretty much map out each line and detail he has. He has more of a smoky venom type eye. It, I mean, it is based on the Carnage character from the comic, but we used the white to just make a basic shape. So using this black eyeshadow will really further define each and every detail, every smoky line, and even clean up any of the mistakes we made before, which we'll cover again in black paint later on. And we're also gonna take that black eyeshadow and start defining the teeth even more. We're just gonna shade the tops of the rounded points and the bottom pointed parts of each tooth to further enhance the sharpness of each tooth. And you're gonna blend a little bit of each shadow towards the center of the tooth so it looks a bit more round and a little bit more 3D. Even though in wrestling body paint, nothing's ever really 3D in the type of makeup of not really realistic makeup, but for my aesthetic, I need it to be 3D. Then we're going to take a red water activated face paint and we're going to fill in the forehead area and around the mouth. You're not going to go as close to where the, where the white is since we're going to cover that with black anyways and shade it inwards from the darkness. So we're going to just use this base layer of red to start out and just go just pretty much filling up all the other areas and then we're going to darken it later with a mix of red and black paint later on. And then just so we don't forget later on, we're going to mix a little bit of black into the red face paint and we're going to cover our ears now because let's not distract ourselves with a normal ear. And we're going to darken in those red areas now just to give it some shading because I found the red a little too of a bright neon red and I wasn't liking that. This, is, this needs to be a dark character. And we're going to paint that in a little bit into the hair as well so it doesn't clash with everything else that's going on. You're just going to stipple all that paint on. Now taking a black water activated face paint, this is where we're going to outline each and every tooth and fill in all the negative spaces and also create that mouth smile up in the corner of my cheekbones. 
and we're just going to pretty much outline every single tooth, fill it in so the whole mouth around the teeth is black. And then we're also going to outline around the eyes as well. And this was the most tedious part of the entire makeup. To get in between each and every tooth with that little itty bitty angled liner brush. And as I was getting so, so into each and every corner, I was concentrating so hard. I was really into it, really feeling it, painting and blending all that black into the teeth and the makeup. And then I did not realize the camera decided to stop recording the rest of the makeup. So since I don't have that footage, I'm going to point out what I did for the rest of the makeup. Here's the close up of my face as it's done. And pretty much what I did, I continued outlining each and every line around the eyes. I filled in the rest of the mouth and blended a little bit of that black up so it looked a little smoky in the red area. I outlined each eye and blended it outwards and then in towards the forehead area. As you see here, here's an example of the blending, which I started with the black, and then I took a black eyeshadow and shaded it further. And here's the forehead, which I just pretty much added black and red and just shaded it more together. So it has more of that shape and highlighted it a little bit more with the, with the white face paint, but I blended it in more instead of having it just a stark white line. And then on the chest area, where we had those shapes before that we outlined in white, we, I painted it all in with the red face paint first as a base, and then I went in around the edges with that black and red face paint mixture. Then I added a yellow cream paint to add, because since he has a highlight area on each one with more of that yellow paint, so I guess it kind of reflects fire in a way, like a lava type color. And then I went back in, in with more black eyeshadow, red eyeshadow, and a lot of the paints. And I painted everything else in with black and shaded it into the muscles. And that's pretty much the makeup here. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and give it a thumbs up. What did you guys think of the Elimination Chamber? What do you think Finn Balor will be doing at Wrestlemania? Don't forget to share this video with some friends, maybe some wrestling friends. Maybe we all should cosplay for Wrestlemania. Maybe show me your makeups. Tag me. Follow me on social media. All those links will be in the description box below along with a list of the products that I use for this makeup. And until next time guys, I will see you in the next video.